AI app for me was not something that was part of my reality. I was curious about that, uh, but honestly, I feel as I pass the singularity because two months ago, it was impossible for me to imagine that I would submit a, a, a film today. Synthesia. I'm just going to let you watch the film and then we're going to talk about it with the, the film's creator. Hello, I am Daria, captain of the spaceship Badios. We are at the edge of the galaxy and we have captured an audiovisual message expressed in standard language. This message comes from an extremely distant point in the universe. I hereby announce that, for the first time in the history of mankind, we have come into contact with an extraterrestrial civilization. I let you discover the content of the message. Humbles greetings to the people of the Earth. I am Oreo, from the planet Multiformi, in the galaxy Chaosacro. We are very far from the Earth. So far from the Earth that although we have mastered space travel for several thousand years, we cannot envisage such a long journey because it will take us 18 generations. As you will not be able to visit our planet, we hope you will appreciate the overview in pictures. is vast, but only two of its five continents are habitable, due to very intense volcanic activity. Although many organisms live in volcanic regions, life on Multiformi has developed mainly on the two stable and fertile continents, in very varied environments and landscapes. The population is also mainly spread over the two continents, in large cities or small villages. We would like to keep an open channel of communication with you, inhabitants of the Earth, to share our respective experiences and discoveries, even if we will probably never be able to meet physically. Thank you. Hey, Jean-Baptiste, one of the things I was particularly interested in that is that this is something that has in, in many ways the production quality of like a Hollywood trailer and when you and I first talked about this, you said, oh, like you created on this film itself, you could spent three or four hours. Yeah, so <clears throat> there are two versions of, <laughs> of it. Uh, one took uh, two or three hours and it was just to take the picture, convert them, add the text, uh, synthesize the voice. All, all, all of that was quite uh, quick. Uh, except maybe for the production of the images with Midjourney. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I, uh, because of the, the traction that the, the film got, uh, I did a, a new version with more fine tuning and I spent another few hours just to fine tune it. But the total uh, time spent, it's not that much. Uh, and that, that was an incredible ex experience. Yeah, so it's really interesting too, is that you talk about yourself as a full stack innovator and we can see, clearly see this here, but we also really think of you as a, as a AI filmmaker now. And in fact, I think you just submitted for a, a, a short film contest, didn't you? Uh, yes, uh, and uh, that was the first win, uh, best filmmaker of the future, for example, things like, like that. The, 
the reception is extremely good. Uh, but uh, when it's new, as with you, uh, AI, it's quite easy today to uh, get a lot of good feedback. Uh, but that will be after a few years that uh, we will see what we can really do with this kind of stuff. The, the, the perspectives are amazing based on what we can do now. Uh, so that, that's uh, nice. Yeah. So I, I think just talking about the process here a little bit, it, I think you started out really experimenting a lot with the image generators. Isn't that correct? Yeah. And uh, two months ago, AI art for me was not something that was part of my reality. I was curious about that. Uh, but honestly, I feel as I passed the singularity because two months ago, it was impossible for me to imagine that I would submit a, a, a film today, a short film, uh, because I, I did some in the past, uh, short as anyone, but I've never built a, a, a movie or whatever. And the process did not came as I want to build a movie. The, yeah, I first um, got in contact with uh, night, night, night Coffee, then uh, got uh, an invite to meet Mid Journey. It was at the time not everyone was able to test the, the product. Uh, so now it's open to everyone. I open a Deviant Art account to get feedback, to try to understand how people get. Because when you spend some time with this kind of stuff, it's so beautiful all the time that the judgment is not easy. Are, are you dreaming? Are you uh, uh, misjudging what you see? Is it uh, not good, but you are just uh, mad? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so at some point, you need to have some feedback to see it's, it, if it's real or not. And just the images, it was, the, the feedback was in, 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 incredible. So. Um, then I found some tools, AI-based tools, that take the image built from an AI art generator that converts them to something else. So that's an AI that works after a first AI work, and that's the collaboration of the AI, because you have the upscaling, you have a lot of process that are possible with AI. And all of that start to come not to maturity, but uh, to usability. So you, uh, that, that, that's a new field with a tool, a new tool that come in, allow you to do something that allow you to do something else. And then you realize that you, 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 you can do a film, a movie, right. uh, a video clip, uh, and not just something that don't have sense, something that uh, you can decide the scenario, or you can ask another AI to build the scenario as I did with, recently with a very short uh, sto story and it's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's, a, that's amazing. Well, let's break this down a little bit. So first of all, you're generating images and I think you had this really interesting process where you'd been posting the images on a third party site and, and you saw which ones were most popular. And then those were the ones you basically curated for your film, is that correct? Yeah, so uh, the popularity, but as well as the kind of feedback I get about one as uh, that's really interesting as well to see other artists trying to uh, see what they can do with mid, mid journey and we all start from the same point. We all uh, do stuff that look similar and each one of us uh, start to go in a specific uh, path uh, to, spe to specialize what we do with that tool. So just this tool to build the image, it's it's it, it's huge. Yeah, that's amazing. So, how much time did you spend like tweaking the prompts and sort of learning how to create? No parents, just prompt, just prompt, just natural language. Just just write. Just natural right. language. And is, I am a, a developer uh, since a long time, very long time. I started at eleven, uh, but uh, I don't want. I love developing, but I don't like debugging, and you cannot do without debugging. Uh, so AI it is nice for that. You just pick. You don't have anything to move in the screen. You just tell what you want, and based on... So you tell what you want. The AI understands something a little different, and then 
you decide if you want to stick on your original vision and in general you don't get anything interesting or you can let the ai go sometime and just uh, uh, choose the direction and uh, you can get uh, results that you did not expect but give give, give you a good idea or um, drive you somewhere else so that's an interesting process very different to what i ever uh, done. So you don't start to write a script, you just start to create uh, the visual. And based on the visual, you may have a story that come. And uh, then you take the story and you do the techniques with the other AI to build what you want a film, for example. Okay, so, so you had the, you had the images, and then you had this idea for the story. Now, I think you wrote the script yourself, but did you use GPT-3 or something else to help you with the script? Uh, no, so I use just Jasper uh, a, a, a lot, but for this one, no, that uh, stories that I had in mind since a long time, I spent two months with me, me, me journey, and there was those imaging in, in, images that represent a, a new world that I could not imagine uh, two two months ago. That's the AI that builds that, um, and I wanted to build something with that. This specific story. So for this, the script is from me, but all the rest is uh, from the AI. Okay, there you go, folks. That is the one thing that was not AI based, but it could be in the future. Yeah, I I have a one min minute that is completely based with a a AI and. You listen to that, and it's funny because that's is there, there is few mistake that you know it's AI, right? Okay, got it. So you didn't you didn't edit afterwards uh, with that? No. Uh, so so you had these images of these locations. You had this idea for a story, and then you created the the, the characters uh, as well, and then you had to. Uh, so that activate those characters AI, that they were talking AI, AI is that created the car character uh, based on description again. Uh, right. Yeah. And then another service that you basically submitted this to, which converted that AI character image to an image that could talk and move its lips. Yeah. So script. that was a little the challenge is that I, I've been using tools that are not yet, but they, it, they are going there. Uh, done for that. Uh, for example, for the character, I use DAD, uh, that is a, a, a company that is, uh, to my point, the only one I think that allow uh, not just to have uh, actor uh, play a script that you write, you have a lot of tools that allow you to build a presentation uh, with just a text, and then you have someone that speaks your message. But in this one, you just provide one image. It scans the image, it creates a 3D part of the face. Uh, you have all the, so the challenge is to ask Midjourney to build an image that will be understandable by this new uh, AI. It, 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 it's not uh, that easy because as soon as you want to have a kind of alien, uh, the recognition for the face is not working. So the face is not moving correctly. If you have too many colors, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, so if you want, want a good rendering and something that is not just a human, uh, that's not necessarily easy. So that's where it can take some time. But, and that's where I had all those images uh, built for two months. But with AI, you build a lot of st stuff. That's ad addictive. All uh, people that try it know that. When you start, uh, it's difficult to stop. You just want to see new stuff because it's a new world that you discover. And if you don't do it, this image will probably never pop up again because there is a part of one done. Uh, so that, that, that's, uh, you, you search for the perfect image. Right. But when you come back the two days after and you see all that, it's good. Most are good. So you have a lot of stock. So then it's, it's just the time to find the ones that will work with the app. Uh, the app will convert. Uh, and there is as well a tool that is very important that is a, a text to voice. Uh, I'm trying to work with stuff that is natural, but as well as 
is actor. So you want to have some intonation, some punctuation. That that's not. So this is coming. In one year, we will be able to do much better stuff. But it's it's a good start. So that's all of that. And there is another product that take a landscape that uh, convert it into a 3D map and then uh, do a zoom or a pan or a, a camera move that is very in, important if you have you want to have something moving all the time you have people that speak but you need to have the landscape that move as well and so on so that's yeah. a good combination really important and then the other thing that stood out to me is the score the music score of this is excellent and i i think you generated that as well with ai didn't you Yes, yeah, so it's uh, with a tool that is called Sando. It's based on AI. It's using uh, uh, human instrument because you have others that build all the music, but it, uh, and they use uh, the algorithms that we, we know that music is mathematic. It's no different at all. And so that's a field where, where AI, AI is, is extremely good. Uh, it's a little frightening to see what you can do in such a short time uh, because the music and you have, you select what you want, the basic parameter, just few clicks, then you have uh, 15 proposition and the 15 on the 15, maybe 10 are good. And so th that's again, you, you search for the perfect one, but as a, as a all good. So it's, Anyway, you have to pick one at some point. And then that the voice with the music and the uh, uh, downside um, uh, seeing this film uh, in a Zoom is that the synchronization was not good. The, the sound was not sync with the image, but I take care of the synchronization of the images with the music. So it's more immersive, you, you, right. you, you feel it more. Right, and that's in... That's the post-production you did in the video editing, correct? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's but just- that's the same. I'm use, using a tool that is very basic, but if you check, it's most of the tools are based on AI now. So that, that's a lot of tools that are all, that, that, that we, we come at a point where a lot of AI work together and the result is incredible. Well, I think that's a perfect summary of why we're here today. And we're talking about synthetic media because it's not just the image generation. It's not just the video. It's not that the lip syncing or the synthetic voices. It's all of these things working in concert. They all interestingly have their own momentum and trajectory as features uh, in each of those different areas. But when you put them together, you get amazing creations like what you did here. Yeah, thank you. Synthesia. Synthedia.substack.com, synthetic media, virtual humans, voice clones, deep fakes, AI image and text generation news and more.